good. I got a buddy. Okay, so we have had a major change of plans, haven't we? We are not going back to the coast. The coast, they're predicting up to 50 to 60 kilometer winds, kilometer winds and we are, like seriously, we've had an absolute gut full of it. So what we're gonna do is, we are only about 30 k's from Gawler Ranges. So we are gonna get into the Gawler Ranges, and oh, nice one, she's just breaking my hema. What are you doing? Well, you were supposed to re-stick it when it fell off, and I forgot it was Well, stuck. I've been driving, so how about you do it? Anyway, so where are we going to? Uh, we're going to Scrubby uh, Scrubby Peak Campground, the Gawler Ranges National Park. This is a spacious campground set amongst the Mallee, which is accessible for caravans. What's the Mallee? I don't know. I think it looks like trees, maybe. Mallee. I, don't, I actually don't know. M-A-L-L-E-E. Okay. All right. Gawler Ranges is only predicted to be about 28k winds. Here I am, I'm back. 28k winds, so it's going to be a heck of a lot better than going back to the coastline. So we may spend a couple of nights in there and just see if this wind's going to die down on the coastline. It has been relentless, so... It says it's like 45 minutes away. Does that sound right? Well, yeah, how many... Yeah, that'll be about right. Okay. Okay. Ready? Rightio. Gawler Ready? Rangers, let's go. Follow the course of the road for eight kilometers. <laughs> well, you don't have to say anything then, do you? We usually turn her off. <laughs> That's, that's what we'll do. We'd like to turn all women off. We'd like to turn all women off. Sorry, but... Oh! Sorry. Hang on. Take that back. Nah. It's what men do. We bag women out. You bag men out. Women bag men out, so... That's very true. So we pulled over at this intersection. Because <laughs> this one here decided he wants to make... A shake. A shake. One down. Do you like to run us through what's in your shake? Yeah. A green container. A blue container, as in I've got no idea what it is. I just you just tell me what to do, because I got I don't know what this is. Oh, this is adrenal stuff. Yeah. So this is helps with your adrenals. Your what's the adrenals? Your um. Your adrenal glands. Your um, excitement <coughs> excitement glands, isn't it? There you go. That'll do. It's a magnesium I've, support formula as well. So if because I've pumped it, you know, extreme sports my whole life, my adrenaline is probably down. So. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Oh, so the first one he put in there, if you look at what's written here, a ketogenic performance fuel. Oh, fuel! The magnesium support formula, which actually helps you sleep as well. It's okay. good for repairing and recovering. This is Vitality. But I don't know what that is either. But if you want a shortcut, it just read. Vitalizes me. You read what's on the front. A revitalizing greens powder. This has got mushrooms in it. All sorts of awesome stuff. Marine collagen. You know what this that is, one is magnesium. Please this is... only put half a scoop of that in there. Too late, we've done it. Okay. This is for all the magnesium plates in my body. This helps them not rust. Okay, so then a little bit of water. Oh, how cool is this little blender too, by the way? This is a Bliss blender. We do have a discount code Ooh, for Bliss blender. Pump. So I will put that along the bottom. So you no, too can the right pump. have your own little Bliss blender. You didn't turn the water off either. Oh, whoops, sorry. Ching. So the water pump's off, honey, there you go. Yeah, Solves. I'll put the lid back on. And you ready for this? I'm ready for this. How cool is that? Very cool. And you just charge it up. USB? Yep, and to drink, just pull the tap. Righto. Gawler Rangers, here we come. Uh, batteries, which one do you want? The one that fits the well, How good is this too? All our camera gear is charging. 24 hours a day, 7 oh, days a week. while we drive. All our still cameras. Um, drone. Drone. Makita batteries. It's always, I have the inverter on all the time. Right. Very handy. Which one do you want? One of these? You want a Panasonic one? one? Please. Here's one I prepared earlier. Thank you very much. No worries. Kill. Yep. Thank you. Good and let us go. Now, all the ranges, here we come. This is Traveller. Yeah. Needs a bit of a mix up. Because it all has a settle, all you do is just hit the gas bottle, hit the gas, turn it off, and have another sip. <laughs> These are the best. Hit a bump, hit a bump. <laughs> there we go, 33.7 kilometers and 44 minutes of maybe dirt road. Yeah. 
feels like we're back in the outback again, doesn't it? Dirt roads and corrugation. Yeah, but it's better than howling 60k winds on the coast. Lovely. Me or? Both. Oh, what okay. do we have in here? So we'll take this with us. Call a range of national park. Ancient ranges, deep gullies, seasonal waterfalls and rocky gorges. The park is a majestic natural wilderness. Wow. There's the organ pipes. There's the falls. That looks like... Um, Down in New South Wales. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I know what you mean. I can't, <laughs> I can't think, think of, of the it. name. Can't think of it. Whew. Mountain biking again. There's a blue sturts. The old homestead. Okay, we got some cool drive Placement tracks. Points. So where are we? Here. So where are we camping? Ah, uh, this one. Oh yeah. Okay. So we can get all the way around. Tracks, the falls, quarters, shed. Okay. So we'll go get camp first, you think? I think we should go and dump the van and okay. then go up exploring. Okay, oh, phone reception. Telstra only. No data though. Yeah, there's zero, zero, zero internet here. All right, let's go then, we'll get a camp and go explore. Out which way you would like to be facing. Yeah, I'm gonna pull into here and then back the van up to there a little bit so we've got the whole sun Perfect. the solar. So. Look how dirty it is. Look at the back of it. Did you wash this yesterday? <laughs> you gave it a bit of a tub in streaky. Wow. Welcoming committees out. For a bit of an explore and we've just sussed out this map. We don't really know how long it takes to do each thing aside from the distances which are listed on the back here. So we figure we might head to the Shearer's quarters over this side and start from there. Well, what have we here? Phone reception, that's what we have. That's fun. <laughs> we came into this part not knowing that there was zero internet and zero phone reception. All I care about is really phone reception, so. Radio. Where's your phone? Let's see if we've got reception. Three, three bars, 3G, it says. Oh! oh, oh. <gasps> Do not drop that. No, see? try Nothing. again. No, Nothing. there's no data, Nothing. it's just phone. So there you go, it's phone reception here. It is not. That's a cool Max Trax HQ. Post though. Is it? Yeah. That must bit. have loaded up this morning. <laughs> oh! Oh, Lois told I put our Christmas tree up. Oh, that's a good Look, post. our Max. <gasps> we were just talking about Max Track posts, and this Max Tracks <laughs> post comes up. That's our Max Tracks Christmas tree. That is our Max Tracks Christmas tree from Paluby. Oh, look. Hey, we're in oh. that. <laughs> oh, there's our old van too. Is there? <laughs> okay, this is not why we came here. We've got no data to load anything right. new. So that's Let's keep going. I don't know what's here. So oh, this slightly. is the entry. So you know how we came in the other end? This is the other entry, which is why all this information is here. Oh. And then there's the information box. So here comes my favorite part of what we do. Miriam's gonna sit here. She's gonna read every single sign. <laughs> and she's gonna give us information. So if you guys like this type of stuff, listen. If you don't, 
press skip, that little 10 second skip, 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 because that's what I normally do. I do have to say that every now and again, people are like, oh, tell Miriam to stop reading the signs. But yeah, Miriam, stop reading the signs. More often than not, people thank me for reading the signs. And we had someone the other day that said, thank you so much. My wife encourages our teenage boys to read all the signs because it's super interesting. Like you just said, what is that? And I know what it is because I read the sign. Don't touch my chins. <laughs> Watching the Hunt in a Hong Kong phone book. Holy crap. I was just looking at myself and it looks like I got more chins in a Hong Kong phone book. It's like I got more chins in a Hong Kong phone book. It's like I got more chins in a Hong Kong phone book. That's because I'm getting old, eh? Look at him. <laughs> looks way worse when I'm going to have him shave. I've got to go. Okay, so this is Waste Nothing. This is the stains rack. Sunshine and fresh air. So when the, um, you know how they shear the sheep? and it comes off and yes, sometimes yeah, it's nice yes, and clean yes, 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 and yes. sometimes it's dirty and disgusting. Right. Well, they didn't even waste that. They dried it out and then they pressed it into bales marked stained. Oh, oh. What do we got here? Um, a loading platform that was used to load bales onto wagons for transport to market in, guess where? Uh, no idea. London. London? Mm -hmm. So did we sell a lot of our wool off then? I guess so. I don't even know. There's a picture of it right here, of it heading off to London. And yeah, look, look it that. goes onto that. Yeah, look at that ship there. Yeah, it's pretty okay. cool. Let's keep going. I hope we can get into the shed. Uh, huh? Do you reckon we can get in there? I don't like it. <laughs> but you told me we could. <laughs> but <laughs> saying how it kind of sucks that we can't go inside. Um, but we went inside one of the most insane wool sheds in all of Australia when we were in. Uh, Blackall? No. Blackall, yes. Black it was yes. Blackall. So I'm going to insert a link here. Ding, ding, if you want to see what it looks like inside. Do that again. Where? Ding, ding. I don't know which side it's going to get. One more. Real nice and slow. <laughs> we'll see. Ding, ding. So Miriam has just dis discovered, blah, 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 discovered that we can actually get into here. And real bad news is there's little information signs everywhere. Please tell me it's locked and we can't get in looks a little, wow. a little different to the one that we went through. It's way smaller and yeah. it's, like it's all manual. There was lots yeah, because the other one had lots of machinery, didn't crazy it? Crazy cool machinery, yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Are you right there? <laughs> the crap. It definitely smells like wool, doesn't it? It smells like lanolin. Oof. Lanolin? Isn't that in um, Anchorman? Lanolin. <laughs> That's your movie, not mine. <laughs> That's me, I'm a gun. Took pride of place at the head of the line nearest to the sorting table. Oh, look at the old bed. Look at his bed up here. Oh. There you go. Yeah, Looks like an old generator. So no, what is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, country yeah. in the world to have completed a shearing season using machines. So that's a shearing machine. That's like your Makita. And that's your Milwaukee there. No, that's Milwaukee there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this is where they go. That's where they this put the, all the wool out on. It's called the wool classing table. Oh, classing table. Now, this is a respected job and it was the most highly paid job in the shearing shed. Look at these guys. They're like in, he's got a so these are the, the guys that actually know a lot about it, don't they? Oh, no. So she's discovered the outside bit as well. <laughs> I guess you're not coming with me. <laughs> no. Bye. Oh, no. So this was, the, this was made with local wood and um, held together with wire. I hope you can see how it's all held together here. It's made with local wood and wire. They didn't have ham, um, nails or anything. That's how the whole, whatever these... Well, they definitely them. nailed it. <laughs> um, ah. At this gate, sheep were drafted into flocks of rams, lambs, ewes or hoggets. What the heck is a hoggett? Yeah, have you ever looked in the mirror? <laughs> you could be a bit of a hoggett. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. I guess... Do you want to go down this way? Um, that's for the lambs, that's for the ewes. Pockets. They all have their own. Oh, okay, so they got their all their own this little is, paths. This is their section. section. <laughs> oh, what's his name that we're watching that TV show where he started a farm and he got sheep? What? The YouTube series that we're watching and he started it. He, uh, oh, Jeremy Clarkson. Jeremy Clarkson. What, Jeremy's farm? What is it? <laughs> Jer um, Clarkson's Farm. Clarkson's is Farm. It? Oh my gosh, if you haven't watched that series on Netflix, is it Netflix? No, it's on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Hilarious. He gets sheep and he thinks it's a good way to keep the grass down. It's not. <laughs> anyway. He doesn't do any sheep dipping, which is what was done here. Actually, maybe he does, I don't know. Um, yard men dip sheep in chemical solutions after they were shorn to protect them from ticks and lice. Dipping exposed many farm hands to hazardous chemicals. I guess that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. They used to push the sheep's head in the dip with a stick. Sometimes they missed and nearly ended up in there too. They were in and out of the water all day. At times it was cold and the dogs went for a dip too. Look, there's pictures of them shoving the sheep oh, in yeah. the... 
Mm. So the sheep are brought here, they go in there, then they're shorn, and then they go through that process. Oh, I don't know. Let's I don't actually know, go. but that's what Let's I'm going to say. Let's just go. Okay, so we're finished and we can finally go. To the, next, to the next stop with the next information board. There's going to be no more information boards. There's okay? going to be heaps of There's not. There's going to be four-wheel drive tracks, waterfalls, swimming holes. There actually are waterfalls. That's, that's my cup of tea. There are waterfalls and swimming holes here. Yeah, there are. Oh, rock falls. And I've got a towel. Have you got swimmers? Uh, no, but I got underwear. Ah, nobbies. Nobbies, aka sort of swimwear anyway, isn't Not it? Alright, <laughs> All right, let's go. Tole Hut. It just looks like a Bessa block. It does. Little doesn't building it? that was really worth a 15k drive. Just realised I left my sunglasses in there, but that's okay. So I think I need to point out that I was on map duties, and I'm terrible at reading maps. And as we didn't plan on coming here, <laughs> we did no research. So we are parked on the other side and we went straight across and thought we'd work our way back, but it's actually a loop. So we should have stopped at the places on the way that we didn't stop at. So now we've got to go around the top and if we've got time, come back around the bottom. So, so the old Besser block, well, the new Besser block building is obviously for something else. So this must be the old part. Look well, the old, if you move back, it the old says floor. information. information. Look, there's an old chimney. Watch boxes. Okay, that's another information centre. And yes. Jimmy. So this is the Kole Hut campground. So as you can see, a riverbed. Yeah, if there was a heap of rain out here, it'd be beautiful. Would be nice, wouldn't but it? But then again, if there'd be rain, maybe it's the wet season, so it'd be cold. Maybe. It says a lot of the roads are subject to water damage and they are they're closed yeah. when it's wet. Well, I reckon there'd be some cracker falls up there in that water hole. Well, it says... There are falls around here, and there is a water hole around here. So it must be over there, just up there. Let's go. Up in there, I reckon. Have you found a way? Well, to... you got us to here, didn't you? Um, did you have like? We did you have there. a heap of drinks? We went all the way to the other okay, side. Okay, so I think because we're camped over here, so if we yeah. run along here and come back down this matter of track. Yeah. And then run back along and have a look at those other things because we can't. And then tomorrow morning we can go whiz up and do that. Yeah. And then come back and we've done the full circuit. So if you are planning on coming here, don't do what we did. Do a, <laughs> do a circuit. <laughs> Just don't listen to your partner. <laughs> and we've got HEMA maps too. We've got this and we've got HEMA. Yeah. And she still gets us lost. I still get us lost. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of what we've been doing, so driving along, seeing signs and going, yay, that's where we want to go. So these Miracle Falls, that's, that's where we're headed. I guarantee there'll be no water in them. It's so dry. All the beds are totally dry. 100% guarantee? 100% guarantee. What did you just say? Is that water or just shiny rock, smooth rock? <laughs> Probably. Where? It doesn't look like there's any water. <laughs> I don't know. I told ya. This is gonna be a waste of time anyway. Come Thank on, you. come on, genius. <laughs> hey, 1.4 k's. There's hope for me yet. Maybe there is water at the other end. So this walk is 1.4 kilometers to get to the falls. And he just said, if there's no water right here, we're turning around. So we will never know if there's actually water or okay. not. If there is no water, there, why would there be water up further? What is it going to go down? Oh, I know. It goes down and then pumps back up and just goes down. Just that one fall, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes. Oh! Hang on, babe. Here. You want a drink? You're an idiot. Oh, it's so hot. Refreshing. Oh. Whew. Can you hear it roaring? Yeah. This would be amazing if it was flowing. This Maybe we should come back in the wet season. It is pretty. It's really pretty. Cool. Pretty cool. Well, if you look here. I'm coming up. <clears throat> see, look, all the shapes. Oh, yeah. So they'll all just split apart. Look, I wonder why it does that. It's crazy, eh? How much further do you want to go? Back that way. <laughs> I want to go as far as I can back to the truck. And let's go. Because this is well not worth it, but it would be maze balls, I think, if the water was flowing. Look at this. It is beautiful countryside. It's isn't it? gorgeous. Yeah. And there's no howling 50k winds like on the coast. 
That is rad, and, and it's sort of all the way up there. Little. Yeah, interesting. Well, the whole hill is made of it. Look right here. Yeah, it is too. Yeah, if you look through the hill. So, you remember what I said about how it happened? Volcanic. No. Volcanic um, action under the ground has just forced it all up. Bit of action, eh? Oof. So, all of this, if this hot stuff wore away, could possibly look like You're that. not in focus, hey? Can you stand still for a minute? So, hey, thank you. Stop moving around and let the poor camera go in focus. Sorry. Turkey, Turkey flat track. No, this is not where we want to go. We want okay, to keep going one. to the next one. Yep, this way. Mm, is it say Matera, Matera? Yep. yep. That's the one. Matera track. Yep. Okay. So this will take us, look, looks like they're straight through the guts yep. of that range. It does. So once we come down this Matera track, we've got Old Paney, the Stone Dam, and the Peter B Rock Hole to have a look at that we missed because we were going speedy quick from here to here. So we've gone here, round, down, and we're doing back there. Okay, back this way, eh? Back this way. Penny Homestead. A bit of rehydration. What are you time. looking at? You. You're like a paparazzi, I can't do anything. Right. Without having a, you know. You're very thing. interesting. How long have I been telling you this for? <laughs> Information! Rightio, so we've just pulled up to Policeman Point, Policeman's Point, and yet again, Miss Miriam has found uh, an information board, so she'll jump up and down and have a big cry if I don't put the camera on her. Hey, babe. No, well, you can read the sign. I can't read. I'm the only sign writer in Australia that can't read. Okay, so this is the trailhead of four different trails. The Heritage Trail, the Stockyards, the, there's the car park, which is 1.1 kilometers return, and the Police Well Waterhole. So there's all different distances and right. grades of walks to do that lead from here. And then it says, Police Well, new law in the Wild West. Look at these cool The Wild here. West. Look at these pictures. It says, two groups shared Police Well. Together they shared the challenges of pastoral settlement in the Gawler Ranges. And then it goes through all that information, which I know you don't want me to read, so... Do you want me to read it or not? Mm, no. Not really? Okay, it's to do with Aboriginal people and white people, and that's that's all you're going to know. Oh, okay. And apparently sheep were a huge conflict for the Aboriginal people. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Police well straight and old panny that way. Police well is an hour and a half. Ah, uh, no, let's not do that. You don't want to do an hour and a half. So let's not do any of it. <laughs> the Heritage Trail is 200 metres return. And it goes down and around the house and I know you don't like walking so we could just drive down and check out the house if you want to. I love walking. I love are, walking in a mountain biking shop or a motorbike shop. The others are 45 minutes. No, we're not doing that. So they're, sh they're sh a longer distance but shorter time. Yeah, but what is actually there? An old stockyard, yep. We don't know what's Brad, there. don't care about that. We didn't do our research so we literally don't know and there's no internet to check so we don't know what this stuff is. Oh well, we'll just, we'll never know then, will we? So do you want to just drive and have a look at the house? Yep. <laughs> okay. Bye. Full of adventure. Yep. So this was clearly much faster than walking for 15 yes. minutes. Yes. Oh. Oh, uh, what? Well, it says, take a journey through the relics of early settlement and discover how Aboriginal and European occupation dependent on a single waterhole for survival led to conflict in the Gawler Ranges. Aboriginal people lived here for over 60,000 years. And the name Paney is an Aboriginal word meaning hill spring. Hill Spring. Hill Spring. European settlers arrived less than two centuries ago and took possession of the land, which caused considerable grief to Aboriginal people. Both groups, once dispossessed, the other transplanted, adapted, and survived. Okay. Uh, kind of crazy when you think about it. Aboriginal people would just like poof, have some sheep, have some white people, have some wire fencing. Have some white people. Do you reckon we'll be allowed in this house? Mm, I don't know. Do you reckon anyone's home? It says. More to the point. <laughs> I hope not, because that would be very ghostly. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Locked. It's locked. Oh, let's see if we can see inside there. Oh. It'll probably be all black. Oh, no, look at that. Oh, whoa. 
So you can get in there. There's information. Yes. Yeah, Aren't you glad the doors are locked? Information things. So the doors and windows are locked at the front. I think we might go in the back because there's like beds and... And look what there's here. There's heaps of stuff in here. Kangaroo poo. There's beds, there's information on the walls. So I think if we just... Unless you sort of like a paid tour, I don't know. Is there anything in that one? There's a dining table with a sink. Is there? And a kitchen Show stove. Me. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> okay, so this, I believe. <gasps> Babe, look what's in here. <gasps> what's in here? A bath. <laughs> Do you want to have a bath? Keep your voice down, it's really echoey. Is there any water in the chef? You know what, there's a bath, but there's no taps. There's a sink, but there's no taps. Well, have to I don't think they were, yeah. It's really windy out there now, that's crazy. Let's go straight across now. What's get, in the next I'm door? I'm really nervous opening these. Oh, this is like the laundry. Here we go. Doors. Oh, look, babe, there's your, there's your broom. <laughs> a broomstick. You're a bridge. A, a bridge. A witch. A bridge. Listen to that wind. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, okay. Ready? Yep, yeah. what's in door number three? And it's locked. That's no go. Oh, oh, I'm just wheeling. Just go. Oh, this is the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> wow. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. And then we write Aussie Destination. The old oven. You've got ink in the pen to write all that. The old um, chimney. No. Oh, here's the kitchen. That's a modern kitchen. What are you, whoa, 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 what are you blabbering on about? Just the hostilities between the white people and the Aborigines. It's Hasn't that always happened? It still well, happens now, it which is sad. By 1849, it quietened, but the violence continued for the pastorals who established sheep runs as far west as Venus Bay and northeast near Tumby Bay. And despite these tensions, settlers continued to take up pastoral leases during the 1850s. By the late 1880s, the frontier violence on the Air Peninsula had all but ceased. Mm. There was a high police. There's always been a battle high between. High police presence here. Look at these police troopers at Clare. Amazing. Yes, these people used to. Memories live. of life on Old Penny. These people lived in this house. This is a list of the people that. Goes on about. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I find it fascinating. Do you? I do. I find you fascinating. <laughs> I'm sure you do. So you obviously. Oh, so you can't get in that door, but you can get mm. through here. This is actually a decent sized place, isn't it? Mm. Imagine how cool it would be. Oh, here we go. Look at all this stuff. European development in the Gawler Ranges since 1857. First pastoral lease, map of 1885, depicts how quickly the Gawler Ranges was taken up. Now look at that, these are all blocks. Did you notice the light shades, the lamp shades, they're beautiful, look at that. They're so pretty. They're and pretty nice, shells. aren't they? Shells on the wall. And look at this, you want to see something really funny? Can you turn the light on? Yes, there's It's up there. And it's broken. Oh, that's the pool light thing. Okay. Yep. Right. So here's the bedrooms that we saw before. Pro management. Okay. Look at that old bed. Is it nice? Comfy? Listen. Every time oh, you, you wouldn't want to be doing exercises on that, would you? <laughs> the rest of the house would hear you. Probably no. And to think. We had our faces pressed up against there. Trying to look in. Oh, we can't see inside. That's enough information. Information overload for moi. We are out of here. We've got to go through the kitchen. Yeah. It is pretty cool though. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It's not mountain biking on the top of a rock. It's not definitely not mountain biking on the top of a rock. It's cool in a different kind of way. Oh, out. How's the wind? Who pointed it out? Here we go. <laughs> She's found more signs. We're in a world of trouble. I didn't. You did. Guys, grab a pillow and have a little nap until this bit ends. Oh, Anyone who's watching, look, she can't even open the gate. Here we go. Oh, you got it. Sentimental pepper tree. It was actually, I did notice it was. And that's the, what it has. I did notice it was really shady in front of the house. Did you notice that? The tree continues to provide welcome shade and remains important to Jesse's descendants. This is a dog's Haney Station dogs were not pampered pooches, they were important workers in the wool industry and had their own accommodation near the homestead. 
Oh, this is this their is house it. is up here. This is their doggy house. Oh, yeah, look at that. Again, no nails, just the wire and the wood. Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, there's bones in that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's... Well, there you go. That was really exciting, wasn't it? Dog kennels. Yeah. Is anyone going to hear this? No refunds, no returns. Now shopping is easy. We're ordered from distant markets, shipped to local ports, and hauled out to stations. A slow and expensive exercise. These concrete barrels are not ornamental. They're behind you, by the way. Yes. We can only imagine the reaction of the person who ordered cement and after a wait of around six months, opened the delivery to discover it had set into concrete in its wooden barrel. Oops. Feeling the pain? Perhaps the donkey in the foreground of the photo was reacting in sympathy to the owner of the barrel of cement. The donkey's like, Bleh down on the Here ground. it is. <laughs> there you go. Concrete set in the barrel. Oops. <laughs> that would have been pretty heavy. Actually, is concrete heavier when it's hard? I yeah, wonder. because it's got all the water in it. Concrete on its own is powder. Yeah, but it's still heavy. Have you tried lifting the concrete bag? They're in 20 kilo, 25 kilo bags. I'm pretty sure it would be heavier when it was set, when it was mixed with water. Okay. Righto. I don't know that, but I'm guessing that. Anyway. Alright, let's go and I'm standing on ants. Look. Yeah, there's ants nests in there. Millions of ants. Uh-oh. <laughs> Great. Yesterday I got stung by bees, now I'm going to get smashed by ants. Oh, they're actually crawling on your feet. They're not on mine. Yeah, I know. They're going up my legs. Ah! Off his pants. Go off his pants. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I slipped. Yeah, sure you did. No, I honestly did. I slipped. My hand accidentally slipped on it. Okay, are we okay. going now? We're going to be long? Yeah, let's go. Right, it's a beautiful Wednesday morning in the Gawler Ranges. We've just finished an epic workout. How's your workout? Oof. Mam's boot camp keeps me fit, keeps me, you know, that awesome physique that I have. Hey, darling. sexy. Yeah. Actually, I was crying this morning. It was abs. Abs are my weakest by far. I've never really done abs, have I? <laughs> if it was legs and all that, I'd smash her, but man. Bit of anyway, this what are we going to do now? Clean up the dirt off the slamble. Yeah, look at the slamble, how dirty it is. <laughs> and now we're pretty dirty too, if that's alright. We're going to pack up, we're going to have showers, we're going to have some breakfast, and I think we're going to race to organ pipes, I think it is. That's oh, yeah. one of the last things we didn't get to yesterday. Yep. We'll just do that in the truck, and then we'll race back, pick up the van, and I think we're going to head back to the coast, but... but Depends on but, the that, wind. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this wind, it's not looking good again, but... We don't know We've what got we're no doing choice. Again. We can't really, yeah, we can't really live by the wind. So, Look, there's the wind. Hey, that's why anyway, you workout done early. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, all right, another adventure Wednesday. Let's do it. Disclaimer: It's actually Thursday. Look at that. Did you just say it was Thursday? I did say it was Thursday. Was I saying it was Wednesday the you whole were time? It's Wednesday. Ooh, look at that. A little bit grotty, hey. It's definitely not like the gym, is it? Oh no. Ugh. All right. You got all this crap to clean up, Miriam. Look at it all. And we're going to go inside, have a coffee what's, and a shower. What's new? Why are you filming me? Because you're taking us somewhere amazing. No, you said you look horrid. I reckon you look sexy all the time. <laughs> the camera does not need to see me right now. Uh, anyway, we've had our breakfast. We've done, washed up everything, had my coffee, had all our 10 billion tablets and supplements. <laughs> done a load of washing we are good to go so we're on our way to the organ pipes i hope it's the organ pipes i don't even know what it's called so yeah i think it is i think it's about 15 or 20 k's from our camp so we'll go do that and we'll go do that that's it that's all i've got to say i've got nothing more to say organ pipes 10 k's this way look at that no caravan no buses do you consider yourself a bus <laughs> Pretty much, I'm the bus driver, I know that. So we are at Organ Pipes car park. What we did notice in the Gawler Range is that there's heaps of clean toilets. Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Yeah, and you know what? There's what? toilet paper in the bushes right there. Like, why would you use that when there's toilets everywhere? Are you serious? Yeah, as soon as I got out of the car, I saw it. There's toilet paper right there. Oh, one of my pet hates is grubs leaving toilet paper Rubbish. in the um, in the bush. So okay, here Organ we go. Pipes hike. How far is this? 800 meters return, 45 minutes. No bushwalking experience required. Let's go. See, it is here. Oh, you know how I said it was a one five with zeros? Yes. 15,000 million years ago, volcanic lava flows cooled, causing fractures in the rock known as joints. 
What it was me is why is it like fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty-two? Yeah. Or something. Fifteen thousand million years ago. That just sounds like a number <laughs> number of kids made up. There you go. Look at this. More toilet paper. And legit, the toilet is right there. I was just saying mm -hmm. how far the toilets are away. How far do you reckon they are? I, don't, I can't guess distance. Like 80 meters? Yeah, not far. And look what's there. Oh, you know, but you know what? Oh, it's what not toilet? in that toilet. What? Toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> drip dry. Maybe you should have grabbed that one. <laughs> As you can see, we're in our perfect um, hiking attire again. No hat, no sunnies even today. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oi, don't stub your toe like if you look like straight up there there's some look at everywhere that entire ridge yeah that one's like look at that and look at these ones just here so what do you reckon is you reckon this is it you reckon we've got to go I, further i reckon i reckon these things are really cute what things this one is hot pink Oh, this is like fuchsia pink. What is it? And green. Show me. This one is red and what green. I don't know, but they're really cute. Mm. They're like a, they're not like Christmas beetles, but they're like red and red and green and pink and pink. And there's heaps of oh, them. Oh, there's heaps of them. Look, they're everywhere. Yeah. I'm more fascinated with them than the organ yep, parts. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you doing? I'm finding the place we went to in New South Wales because these organ pipes are disappointing. I don't know, I'm just going to have to look it up and write it down. But there are amazing organ pipes. Hey, can things. you just move? No, 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 stop there. Go look at me. That way a fraction. I'll stay right there. Look at me. So we're focused on you. And then there's a sign. You're out of focus. Well, you look better like that, actually. Thank you. I much prefer being out of focus. Yeah, hey, I'll put it back on you. There all, you go. all the wrinkles are blurred. But we're still going, is it? Gets better as we go past this sign. All right, coming. So where are we going now? Well, this is it, and in all honesty, this is like a really crappy version of the one that we saw in New South Wales. The one in New South Wales was like straight up, and huge pillars had fallen down. Yeah, they were massive. Look at these ones here. I'm just. You can see it. It's not that great. No. So when we went to the one that I can't remember the name of. Um, we had the kids with us, it was in 2018, and I did film it, kind of half on the GoPro, half on my phone, very average filming, but I'll put a link to the video. You always average film though. Mm -hmm. So there's a link to the video. And they were massive, they were like the size of you. Me, round, like, as in round, like big hexagon things. They were bigger things. and the whole ones had just crashed down and split open. We've got to put a link on what it was. It was yeah. rad. Yeah. This one here? No. This big one? That's not big. It's actually small. Yeah, but there was heaps of bigger versions of those. Yeah. So these. Yeah, they were like those, but way bigger, weren't they? This one, this one actually is like this big. The other ones were at least three or four times bigger. You reckon? Yeah. And there was a lot more of them, and they'd fallen in clumps. It looks like toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. Are you kidding? It has to be. 15,000 million years ago, they just 15, pushed... 15,000 million, 122. Yeah, that's it. They just pushed all this stuff straight up. Oh, Gola Rangers. Organ good, pipes. but... Yeah. If you want to see good organ pipes, click that link to that video and have a look at whatever that was down in su southern New South Wales. Mid. Mid. It was sort of in the middle of New South Wales. It was, right was when we were driving middle. from Queensland all the way down to Tasmania. It was one yep. of our stop-offs on the way. We'll remember it. I'll remember it on the way back before I get to the car, I'm telling you. I have some exciting news to tell you guys. Me and my big brain remembered where we went, that place. It's called Sawn Rocks, but I can't remember the town that it was at. And you know <sighs> something funny? Because in the post-edit process, I will have already put the link to the video and already written the name on the bottom, so no one's surprised yep. by your yep. big brain. There goes my glory moment. <laughs> All gone now. <laughs> Sawn Rocks. If you're down that way, make sure you check it out. It is mind-blowing. It is really... Yeah, it's sensational, but definitely a lot better than here, Gawler Rangers. But Not anyway, here. still reading. Yeah. It's called the Organ Pipes Amphitheatre. Amphitheatre, did you say? Amphitheatre. Amphitheatre. 
amphitheater. Amphitheater, because we were surrounded by the pipes. Right, okay. There you go, now we can go. Hello. Look who we meet, mate, in odd place. Literally, we haven't seen one car the last two days, and then you guys pop up. Derek's <laughs> well, right behind us, too. Is he? <laughs> oh, man, isn't it funny? Here comes yeah. Derek. Yeah. See, bro? The old farm truck's in its natural habitat, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, we are all parked and ready to get out of Gaul Rangers. Miriam's just putting her new eyes in. She's always changing her contact lenses. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, I've just leveled up all the bags, so we are good to go. No idea where we're going, but um, I'm sure you'll see. You! Have you put your new eyes in? Can you see me? I'm here. Yes, and or I'm can you just spare ones in You're the car. always putting new eyes in, why? Because they're daily contact lenses, but I only oh. change them weekly, and this one's probably been two weeks, so. Oh. This one I changed when it washed out when we were swimming in the rock pool. Right. This one I didn't change, so now I'm set, mm. and I've got spares in the truck yep. now. And this old man here, doesn't need glasses. Hang on, you do need glasses. Hang on, random story. This is how fit and healthy I am. What have I never even had? I've never even had a filling. Oh, a filling, yeah. And he doesn't clean his teeth very much. Powerful. And I don't clean my teeth very much. I'll probably clean them every three days or four days. Maybe I just feel when I need to brush my teeth. And I don't have bad breath either, do I? Not generally. Not yet. Not at all. They get yellow from the coffee, but then he uses my black magic teeth whitener. Yeah. And one go, they're clean. But anyway, you don't need to know that. But anyway, I've got fit as a fiddle. Blind as a bat. Blind as a bat. But she's clever though. I'm dumb as dumb as a post. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> 